There you are. I've been looking for you. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, this one I want to give you a catch up on the three foot tank that we've got at the bottom. Um, this originally was set up as a discus breeding tank. Um, I'll leave the link to the video on how I set that tank up up here. But things have changed over the New Year's period. It all starts with the story of heading down to the local fish shop uh, to grab supplies. Might have been something like Prime or something, I can't remember. It was a while ago now. Um, and I noticed a big grow-out tank that they had there with uh, larger, larger stocked fish. And in amongst those were four angels. Um, these guys were pretty much adult size. Um, talking to the clerk there and um, he's told me that they've really struggled to actually get rid of these four, um, to sell these four um, adult angels. And I was like, oh well, um, I could probably free up space in the room for these guys. I've always wanted to keep angels and this was a great opportunity to jump on board with that. So I didn't know whether to put them in with the six foot tank, in with the other discus and my black ghost and a few other things that are in there, my Bosmanis, or to set up their own tank. Now I hadn't had much success with uh, getting my discus to breed beyond the point of laying eggs. Um, they'd get to that point and then everything seemed to be infertile and they'd had eight or nine goes at this and the same thing happened over and over. So I thought, why not put them back into the six foot with the other discus, which I've done, and I introduced the four angels into their own tank. Now, this was all great, well and good, and everything started fine until two of my angels paired off. Uh, that created a lot of um, ruckus in the tank. Now, the first guy I brought back got beaten up really badly in the fish store. I brought him home and within the space of a week realized how bad shape he actually was in and I picked him up and transferred him into the six foot tank before I knew I had a breeding pair of angels. Um, after this I noticed this, uh, sorry, the third one was starting to get picked on too and he was always in the corner on his own and was getting secluded. This immediately raised alarm bells and I knew something was going on with these two. Um, it didn't fully click that they'd actually paired off at that stage. It probably should have, but it didn't. Um, but my first um, course of action was to grab the third wheel, and he is now in the six foot tank, as you can see, too. So those two are doing fine in with the discus um, and all the other guys in the six foot tank, and they actually create a bit more diversity in that tank. As you see in these videos, um, little clips, <laughs> it is due for a water change and a clean and that is what I'll be doing today or tomorrow at the latest, but that's coming. So sorry about a little bit of algae on the tank, but that tank is due for a clean. But lo and behold, I see that they're actually laying eggs. Now, um, trying to catch these eggs, I don't have a tank fully set up to transfer the eggs and have their own um, tank as yet. As I say, I'm just a hobbyist and this is something that's just happened in the fish room and we're having a bit of fun with. Um, but at this stage, trying to catch them once they hatch and get to them before the parents do is becoming a battle. It always tends to be very early in the morning or we'll wake up and there's just no eggs or no fish. There's just completely gone. So um, it's a fun little Juggling act we've got going at the moment. We're in the process of trying to set up a tank to transfer the eggs over and try and hatch them from that. Um, we do have uh, baskets and fry boxes that we're attempting to use now too. But that's just to catch up on the three foot and what's going on and these angels and the new pair that we have in the fish room. So that's just a rundown on the new pair um, and a catch up of what's been going on the last couple of months and one project that's going on. I'm not going to show too much of the fish room as I said. There are more projects coming and one I'm super excited about. I'll give you one hint and it's a pretty bland hint but the tank has been cycling for six weeks now so we are getting close to stocking. I could stock now but hang, hang tight. 
like, hit that sub button, hit the thumbs up, they will be coming and it won't be long and we can do a full fish room reveal of everything that's been going on the last couple of months. So guys, thanks again for watching, I'll see you in the next one.